you probably already saw this coming, didn't you? Yes, it's everyone's favourite time of year, review season! And this time, we're going to take a look back at the top five highlights of what's been a quiet, yet still kind of crazy F1 season, with some hidden gems if you're willing to scratch under the surface enough. So leave your cynicism at the door, keep your caps firmly in the put-down position, and let's review my top five highlights of the 2015 F1 season. At number five, Romain Grosjean returns to the podium at Spa. The Belgian Grand Prix had its fair share of attrition, but what stood out more than anything else was seeing a deeply affected Lotus team in the middle of their buyout drama, and with the bailiffs knocking on the door, Romain taking advantage of Vettel's blowout to score his first podium since USA 2013, 31 races previously. Lotus had to stick around for a week after, but with all the champagne on tap, maybe that wasn't such a bad thing after all. Number four, the race that got everyone believing, Malaysia 2015. As for arguably the first time since the hybrids were introduced, Mercedes was beaten on straight merit as Sebastian Vettel shocked the world of his first Ferrari win in just his second race for the team. Mercedes was still faster on the day, but didn't have enough speed to counter the two-stop in Ferrari. And Seb scored his 40th career win, and everyone raised their eyebrow, even Nico Rosberg declaring, game on, on the podium post-race. Sure, it never really worked out in the end in terms of Ferrari being the legitimate threat to Mercedes, but hey, it's fun to be optimistic, right? Number three is Silverstone in a British Grand Prix that will upset the apple cart. Williams had the start of a lifetime as Massa and Bottas went 1-2 from the second row to take the lead early on, even drawing a call for team orders from a frustrated 77. But as Hamilton caught them out with the undercut, it led to Williams falling back as the rain came down. All hell broke loose, people were judging when it was time to switch, but it was Lewis Hamilton who nailed the correct decision to pit for Inters and came out to win the race ahead of a rampant Rosberg, alongside Sebastian Vettel in third, who was one of the fastest men once the rain came down, he too nailing the decision of when to pit for Inters. So often in life, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And sure, the result ended up the same, but how he got there was pretty epic. Number two is pretty much everything that happened at the Circuit of the Americas. It's a weekend where absolutely nothing went by the form book. With a hurricane in the vicinity of Texas, practice sessions were were near non-existent and qualifying was curtailed as the teams decided to have some fun, including dancing, using paddle boats and creative uses of the pit lane in general. When the rain finished, we had an all-time classic race with the Red Bulls flourishing in the rain, but in the dry, the Mercs took over with Sebastian Vettel once again becoming the four in the Mercedes side, with some scintillating speed from 14th on the grid. We had two safety cars, multiple strategies, but a Rosberg mistake with six to go gave Hamilton the win and his third championship. Cota was a classic example of why we so often stick with F1, because even at its worst, at its best, it is truly something special, and I think America that weekend was everything great about that sport in one little package. And for me, the number one moment was the Hungarian Grand Prix. Now, you can debate the quality of the two races until the cows come home, but for me, the atmosphere surrounding the race is what made this one a little bit more special, albeit for sad reasons. F1 had lost Jules Bianchi just a week earlier after a long period of suffering. The sport was hurt, in a hard state of mourning. And like I said in my Top 5 Velo Moments video, I still believe the brilliant race we got that weekend was part of the healing process that fans loved and I think Jules would have been proud to have been a part of. Lewis was in the walls, going off on lap 1 and colliding with Daniel Ricciardo in the middle of the race. Rosberg and Ricciardo had a late tangle after the safety car. There was chaos as Max Verstappen made it a 1-4 to four Dr. Marco finish. And at the front of it all, Sebastian Vettel made history, tying Ayrton Senna for third on the all-times wins list with his 41st career victory, dedicating the win to Jules himself. Hungary has this knack of producing classic races, and 2015 was no exception, and with the circumstances surrounding it, I think this one was very special, and me personally as a fan will never forget it. So any other highlights you want to take away from 2015? Or are we just going to forget this whole thing ever happened? Let me know in the comments below, and if you have a top 5 you want to see, get in touch, it may even get made down the road. Until next time though, I've been Andre Harrison, and thanks for watching.